Hello learners, welcome to our history class. And the topic is Aliman. Your teacher is Roger Michira, and the channel you're watching is Elimu TV, where we get to watch and learn. Now, we are in stages of evolution of man, and so far, we have introduced some two stages of evolution of man, the Jopithecus, Dreopithecus, and in today's class, we're going to look at Australopithecus. Now, class, by the end of the lesson, we need to state the characteristics of Australopithecus and also where it was first discovered. Now, as I said earlier, that is how we'll be understanding the stages of development. First, you need to state where it was first discovered and also the features of that stage of development. Now, Australopithecus, it is also referred to as the southern ape, ape man. Now, the first appeared in the savannas of South Africa. And you always know that in South Africa, during that time, it was covered by the savanna grassland. Now, the Australopithecus was first discovered in the savanna grasslands of Southern Africa. Now, if you can clearly see, those, that is the savanna grassland. It is covered by, covered by grass. So perhaps that was the, the, the habitat of Australopithecus. That is where he lived, right? That's where he spent the whole of its life in the savanna grassland in southern Africa. Now, class, can we get to look at how can you know this is an Australopithecus? Characteristics of Australopithecus or also the features of Australopithecus. One, the pelvis and the leg was similar to that of modern man. Now, you might ask yourself, what is that pelvis, right? What is that pelvis? That is how a pelvis looks. Now, from our lesson of biology, we can clearly know what a pelvis is. Now, the pelvis of Australopithecus was similar to that of man. And also, look at the legs, right? After, from, from, from the pelvis, downward, the, the downward, they are that similar to man. Now, in that, our second image, you can see the pelvis of Jimbanze, the pelvis of Australopithecus, and pelvis of human they are closely related, or rather they are similar. So now the Australopithecus, the, the pelvis was similar to that of modern man. Can you get to look at the feature of another feature, which is that the, they were hairy, short, but strong. Look at the first image, right? The Australopithecus is hairy, meaning the face. Look at the face, right? Feel, uh, rather filled with hair. Look at another image of man, right? filled with hair. So it was a hairy, a hairy man, right? The Australopithecus was very built and also it was hairy. Now also another characteristic or another feature is that they had an upright posture. This enabled them to defend themselves. Look at that upright posture. Now you can differentiate the Australopithecus from the Aegopithecus. We saw Aegopithecus and Dropithecus africanus, they walked in a quadrupedal movement, or rather, they walked in fours. But looking at the Australopithecus, is walking in twos. He had an upright posture. Now, the upright posture made him uh, able to defend himself, right? This made him to defend himself. Now, class, let us look at the jaws, right? How are the jaws? So, Australopithecus had powerful teeth and also the jaws. Can you get to look at the, the, the jaws of Australopithecus? Look at them. Look at those, uh, uh, those are six images, the jaws and also the teeth, right? The jaw is this lower, the lower part that holds the teeth together, right? You can see that. So now the jaws were very strong. This simply means that his way of obtaining food had improved. Remember the early man was a hunter and a gatherer, right? Now, the, now to, uh, due to the improvement of his jaws and also the teeth, that also showed that the hunting and f feeding method have also improved. Now, we have looked at some of the features of Australopithecus. We have talked of the hairy body. We have talked of uh, the power of teeth and jaws. We have talked of the hairy bodies, right? Talk of uh, walking in toes and upright posture. Now, this, that is how man developed from stage to stage. And the upright posture, we must get to say that it was significant in man because he was able to defend himself from the enemies. 
Now class, can we get to try this assignment, the task ab uh, above? That is where was Australopithecus first discovered? And also, don't forget to name the kind of person who discovered the Australopithecus. And also, you can get to research more, get more information via our research uh, material, which is Evolving World, History Form 2, the sixth press, the, the sixth edition by the Oxpo Oxford University Press. And as always, watch our, our, our lessons via YouTube, via Facebook. Uh, also, you can follow us on our, on our Twitter account at Elimu TV Kenya. This is Elimu TV, a station where we always watch and learn.